Hi, this is Alex Paul at the Embedded World Show at the 4D Systems booth. I'm here with a friend of the show, Mark Rehonen. We talked last year about all of this, but obviously it's a moving target, so things have been moving forward for you, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, Alex. Um, we've really seen a big boost in building control. Uh, for example, having hotel rooms with a single panel that controls you know, the lights, the air conditioning, uh, the drapes, whatever you have in a hotel room, for example. But you can also take that to households and anywhere else. And what's really been booming is this kind of uh, applications, for wired applications, which we are kind of demonstrating here on this panel. So we've got, a, let's say, a small uh, control panel that we can also bring in bigger sizes, smaller sizes, so we have a lot of flexibility. And in this case, we're controlling a simulated house. So let's say we want to turn off the air conditioning, we just click the control panel, find the air conditioning functions here, and click on that, and the air conditioner sh should go on and off, and this is simulating it. And it's all going through a standard RS-485 interface, so any device that is connected to the Ethernet network with an RS-485 controller, you can directly control from this panel. Um, there's a lot of exciting things happening in this particular field right now. Well, I, you know, what I like about this, Mark, is a lot of people offer smart home solutions and smart facility solutions, but sometimes it's nice to know it's smart, have a display where it is, tell you status, let you know that it is a smart display. Yeah. You can walk into a building, not even know that it's smart, but then, hey, there's a display, it automatically introduces, you want to touch it, you want to work with it. Exactly, and it, I mean, it's, it's nice to have a dedicated panel for that type of thing. Let's say you're leaving the house and you want to turn off all the lights, and then you're thinking, is my light on upstairs? You have to walk upstairs and turn it off. But if you have one central control that controls every room, you can do it. Um, and it's relatively easy to make that happen. So this is, this is kind of a wired solution. And you know, if you want it wireless, we also offer those options as well. Well, we're going to take a look at that. But I noticed something here I wanted to ask you about. You got this new display here, primary display for the Raspberry Pi. How did that come about? Yeah, well, you know, the Raspberry Pi is a really popular platform these days. So, um, and, you know, there is no display on it. There is an HDMI connector, so you can put a monitor on it, but many people also want just a primary display or use it as a kind of a secondary primary display. So we're, we're keeping that option here, and we brought out three new models, uh, uh, actually six new uh, models this week, and they will start shipping at the end of March. And we have a 4.3-inch, 5-inch, and a 7-inch option, and all of them come in capacitive touch and resistive touch options. So. This is something that we want to offer to the Raspberry Pi community. It's a very popular platform. Um, people can find this very useful. Very nice. Now, now let's go take a look at those internet displays you were talking about, the IoT stuff. Pardon us, gents. I apologize. Well, that's one of the things about a trade show, you know? You got busy people here trying to solve solutions, right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, tell me a little about these. I was, I was, I like these little ones. Yeah. Okay. Well, last year we we released the Gen 4 Internet of Display series, which was 3.2 inch, 2.8 inch, and 2.4 inch modules that run on the ESP8266, and we put an Arduino core in there and our graphics in there. So it's really easy to create wireless display applications directly on on the display without having a host run it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so this is something that you can also use to control, let's say, lights and, and things like that in, in a house or a hotel room if you need a wireless solution. And then we thought that you know it'd be nice to have something a little bit smaller as well um, as indicator displays, which you can network all over the place, let's say in a plant or somewhere where you need also some local information. So we've got the new IOD09 um, display module, which also runs up with the ESP uh, core. Uh, and these are all wireless. So you can network all of these together and uh, display information wirelessly from various points. Very cool. Now, and uh, this is the URL they go to to get the information, right? Exactly. Well, it's easier just to show it to them and have to spell it all out right now. So. Exactly. But yeah. um, they get there, they can get information on the equipment. They can, can they, they can order online as well? Yeah, they can order the stuff on our website. And it's also available at all the major distributors. So Arrow, um, RS Components, Mouser, DigiKey, they all carry our full product line. So you can get information from there. We On our website, we have hundreds of app notes. Uh, documentation that lets, helps you get started. And we also have a new portal called 40makers, which is 40makers.net, which is 
loads of different projects with full-on project descriptions and everything available online. Um, so if you get one of our starter kits from somewhere, you can find some inspiration and help and assistance there as well. Very cool, Mark. Thank you so much for taking the time of this busy show to talk to us. I really appreciate it. Sure thanks, Alex. Thanks very much.